for the whole meeting. Are you so, does anybody have any questions? Uh, yeah. When you talk about the legislature, is there any uh, particular group or people that we could uh, send letters to or uh, do some action in Sacramento besides you that we could go to, maybe some committee, maybe, you know, there's other things that are involved? Yeah, well, uh, well, th there's a number of uh, uh, committees up there that, uh, uh, you know, uh, deal with this issue. Uh, the chairs are important. Uh, John Perez as the speaker is very important that we make sure he knows what we're thinking. Uh, on the Senate side, of course, it's um, um, uh, Daryl Steinberg. Uh, what I'm worried about are those kind of middle of the road people. Uh, they think that um, uh, you know the banks contribute to them uh, for their uh, re-election and that they feel that they owe people. Uh, and I think that they're particularly vulnerable now that uh, the new people are 12 years. Makes a big difference as opposed to six years. Um, uh, so the leadership, the governor, and uh, legislation, legislators in this area, and I think they're pretty good. You know, I mean, Leno is fine. Of course, I think Ting's gonna be fine. Uh, Leland's there for whatever time he's going to be there. San Mateo, for instance. You know, all of this comes down to class issues. And in San Francisco, uh, we recognize the difference. We recognize class issues. And many of my colleagues might have the right instincts uh, and might have the right, you know, visceral feelings, but they're intimidated by the electoral process. So we have to show them that that's not what it's really all about. And um, I'm, I'm hopeful because of the 12 years. So it's not like, well, I'm only gonna be here for a, a two more years. I don't, wanna, uh, I don't want the banks to fund my opponent. So I'm gonna equivocate. We have to say to them, you know, fuck the banks. They can, they can do your opponent, but we're gonna provide the legwork. We're going to provide the knocking on the doors. We're going to provide, hey, you're Latino. Your constituents are Latino, and they're being foreclosed. Who, where are your loyalties at? Um, anyway, you know, right. you know me. Well, Tom, I think you said some really great things. Uh, I've been covering this school since about 2007, with Baby New and some other places. What I see right now, especially around that issue, what you said about the uh, Hispanic gentleman in uh, Fresno, Yeah. I see an onslaught of, like, let's just say black African Americans, I don't really want to call them that, but they look like us. And they are so corporate, and they really have no <laughs> feelings about anybody in here, except for the bottom line. And I think this is a really dangerous thing, um, because they're basically using them to like say, oh, we're good persons, and those people do like little charity things, you know, like some kind of bank, which you know what I'm saying, and they, they, they give like, yeah. it, well, maybe it's $10,000, that's nothing compared to what they're from. That's the word comes to what they're making. So I, I, that was a really good point that you made about the, uh, the gentleman. I, the, I think we got to go deeper. You know, if you look at uh, the issue of Prop 8 and, and gay marriage, and God knows what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, if they don't hear it, this shit's going to hit the fan. Um, we need to go deeper. We need to have, so the guy that I'm talking about, Henry Perea, a nice guy, even though he did that, he won by 60%. So how about the next time we make him worry? that that 60% is not there. You know, are we in a bubble in San Francisco? Yeah, we're in a bubble, but you know what? We worked for this. When I came here in 1962, we were nowhere near where we are now. You know, and uh, you know, sometimes we suffered um, um, uh, uh, defeats, but yet we always bounce back. So I think that's gonna happen in California, but it's really, it, it is grassroots, and it is knocking on doors, and it is calling out those people who feel secure. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know what? I can be with the banks. I am a little, if it, but I'll get reelected again. Well, no, maybe you won't. And maybe if you do, it'll be by two points. You'd be surprised how that, how that can work. So yeah, there's a lot of sleeping giants in, in, in California. Here's a question.